I'm meteorologist Peter Hall, a.k.a. Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. If you didn't catch us on Today in Central New York on NBC3, we've got some pictures on our Facebook and Twitter pages, and so check those out. Anyway, somewhere over the rainbow, we'll see if we can find some weather forecast information for you, and we do. We know there won't be any tornadoes lifting up houses, but we do know that the wind will increase and we have some rain. Figure rain is widespread mid-morning to midday, then becoming occasional to intermittent at times during the afternoon. And through the evening and midnight hours, showers should repick up. Now, there is a possibility during the trick-or-treat hours that some spots might let up on the rain a little, but you know I'm not confident on that, so we've got to track those showers. I would if I were you, and I'm going to do it myself, certainly. Interactive Triple Doppler Radar website mobile app. During the afternoon and trick-or-treat time, it'll become breezy. Gust to 35. Now, that's certainly going to be noticeable, especially if you're dressed up as a ghost and blowing all over the place. But in terms of anything damaging or possibly strongest, well, that's very, very, very late tonight through Friday. We're talking wind gusts likely of 50, possibly 55 to 60 or stronger. The best chance of the excessive, possibly damaging winds would be over the very highest terrain, highest elevations especially along the Lake Ontario shoreline stretching from Mexico Bay north to the St. Lawrence Seaway. And those of you watching northern and eastern ends of Oneida Lake as a west southwest wind really howls tonight, we may be able to see some strong damaging winds there as well. So in terms of weather, mid morning to midday, showers likely. Then, as I've mentioned, it'll become intermittent at times during the afternoon, but then picking up again later tonight. Again, we go into the very late night hours of tonight and go into tomorrow morning and there'll still be some rain and then there'll be also that wind. Early showers should taper off, but the winds will remain high through early afternoon. And again, that wind potential 50, 60 mile per hour gusts still in the cards. Temperatures today 60 to 65 and temperatures tomorrow above normal 63 to 68. Remember the normal highs in the mid 50s. So while we do have some concerns in wet weather and concerns definitely of wind as we head into tonight and tomorrow, I mean, Halloween has been worse, all right? It's snowed on Halloween before, so we're not seeing that. We're seeing above normal temperatures, but also above normal winds. Friday evening, chance of a shower between Rochester and Oswego and also east and northeast of Lake Ontario. Early in the morning Saturday, there may be a smidge of sun, but then showers which are located over and northeast of Lake Ontario should sag over central New York during the afternoon. Total sunshine, little to none today. Maybe a, some dim, thin sun if we're very lucky, but I, that's borderline. 50% sunshine, though, likely on Friday. Saturday, we're expecting only 10% sunshine. Well, the threat for rain, obviously, very high today. We've talked about that. The threat for a leftover shower is pretty high early, but then should taper. Afternoon showers are likely Saturday, and then sprinkles and flurries likely Sunday, and Sunday's going to be a very, very chilly day. Let's check out that seven-day forecast. Above normal temperatures today, tonight, tomorrow. Near normal temperature Saturday, well below normal temperature on Sunday, and then looks like we'll start off cold Monday morning in the 20s with teens in the outlying areas. Sunny, though, on Monday and Tuesday. Local temperatures for you, many of us in the 60s later this afternoon and likely staying around 60 this evening and overnight. We can see where the warm air is coming from the south, although you can see the cool air that's destined to head back into our area for Sunday. That's located right now in Duluth, Minnesota. I'm meteorologist Peter Hull. Anytime, anywhere. Mobile app plus cnycentral.com.